Hello, I'm Jonathan, otherwise known as Senor Smoke, here at Curto's in Westchester County. I want to welcome you to the sanctuary where we grill, sear, smoke, build, design, mighty fine outdoor kitchens. And yes, we do sell appliances 70 years deep over there. Um, but I stand before you today with a revelation, a very profound revelation. I want to talk to you about how my grilling activities and particularly my relationship with this metal box over here has helped me attain stillness, has helped me attain some semblance of Zen tranquility in my life. And I'm going to prescribe it for you as well. Let me get into it. Um, this box over here, which I just lifted for you, and we'll do so again, is not just a mere box. This, my friends, is the Alfresco solid fuel insert. This accessory, when purchased with your Alfresco grill, turns it from a staid gas-powered appliance into potentially a fire-breathing, um, havoc-wrecking, searing, smoking, flavor machine. I have many videos that you can see on the YouTube channel, on the Alfresco website, where I extol the virtues of this piece. This has fundamentally changed the way that I grill, okay? I rarely use gas now. I throw the box on, and what happens? I am now grilling with wood. I am now grilling with lump charcoal, and it completely transforms my game, all right? Now I have gone from being in a tasteless, baseless form, i.e. gas, though it is actually very, very, very convenient, but now I'm on wood, charcoal, I have the flavor, my olfactory senses are being tickled, and yes, it is ignited with gas, so I'm still getting that benefit of convenience. But how has this altered me beyond just the taste? How has this given me this taste of sal, we say stillness? Let me put myself in your shoes. Let's say you have one of those shitty days at work, okay? You're a trader and you're, some trades went awry. You are a doctor and, I don't know, there were some issues with patients, with insurance companies. You are working a jackhammer and you've been on it for 10 hours a day and the tinnitus is bothering you. Take whatever your field may be and just figure out you had a shitty day, okay? So what happens is you go home and you go in the back, okay? So for me, when I go home, I'm usually dealing with three screaming kids who are fighting and trying to kill one another, and then my wife, typically, Senora Smoke, okay, yelling at me about something. So what I do is I make a hasty exit to the yard, and at that point, typically, food has been given to me to, to grill because that's my job. I am Senor Smoke and my wife doesn't let me live it down. So immediately I'm outside on the grill. Well, if I was just cooking with a gas grill, it would just be something that was, shall we say, a boring, boring endeavor, okay? Mindless, nothing to it. It's there for convenience. Get the chicken cutlets off, the salmon, whatever. Now, with the solid fuel insert, what has happened? is again, my olfactory sensors are now taken to a completely different level. What will typically happen is I will sit down once it is ignited, okay, and the food is going on. I will have some type of libation in hand. It's definitely there as well. It helps as medicine. And I will sit down, okay? And once the smoke, once the smell of that wood or of that charcoal starts to hit the nose, things just get elevated. You will soon forget what other bullshit you went on, went on earlier that day, and you will lose yourself in those minutes when you are back there basking in the sensations of cooking with solid fuel that this gives you. It is a game changer. You may think, think that I sound completely out of my mind talking about this, but I'm telling you, I've got two years in the back pocket doing this, and it's something that I look forward to on a near daily basis. It is a retreat. Superman had the fortress of solitude, right? That's where he attained his Zen. For me, 
It's the yard with the solid fuel insert, perfuming, perfuming the area around me, taking it in, and it's all good. And I'll tell you folks, one of the reasons why this is the case, all right, I'm going to tell you right now, there's something about the fire. There's something about looking at the fire. Game of Thrones fans, Melisandre, right? The lady in red, the red priestess, she was onto it. She was definitely onto it. There is something deep when you look into the fire, okay? And when I have that solid fuel and it start humming, and I'm looking at those coals glowing, I'm just a man who's relaxed, and it's all good. And I want you all to experience that as well. So, you know what? That's basically it today. I may sound like a complete raving lunatic right now, and that's cool because it takes a creative guy to find zen in a piece of metal, and that I have found. Folks, if there's any questions, you know where to hit me up. If you don't, it's jonathanacurtis.com. If you're in the Tri-State area, come on in, visit. The water's always warm. And uh, to my internet friends out there, folks, Sometimes it's a little challenging to get me on the telephone. I'm backed up big time over here, but I will try to return calls where I can. Thank you very much. Continue grilling, smoking, searing, do whatever you can to put a smile on your face.